Hello and welcome to another Hangout. This Hangout took a little bit longer to record than expected because when I was first recording this last night, I encountered a nasty bug in the export to Foundry. The good news is that I went onto Discord, to the Dungeon Alchemist Discord, and within 15 minutes of telling them, they'd fixed it, released a patch onto Steam, and I could upgrade and everything was working. So anyone out there that's worried about the level of support or you know, what the development team will do if you hit a problem, I think there's an excellent example of it there. They're fantastic. You couldn't ask for more. So great job, guys, and I really look forward to seeing how you take this forward. Moving on from that, we've got export back to Foundry, which is what I'm looking at here. But as a reminder, because I will forget at the end, please, if you like this content, click the thumbs up. It helps people find the content. If you're interested in seeing more, click subscribe, click the bell and you'll get notifications and put what you want in the comment section. Um, I'm thinking of doing more content for this and various other things, but give me guidance. What do people want to see? Um, one idea is I might do some live map making sessions and make maps that are being requested by the community while talking people live with chat through what I'm doing. Um, and then those maps will be released for free to the community. The commercial license that's offered by Foundry, Foundry? by Dungeon Alchemist is incredible. Um, go on to their terms of service. I covered that in the last video. Have a look what they, what they offer. Um, you, know, you might be worried that you can't use your maps for that kind of purpose. You can, and if you're putting them out there for free, you have nothing to worry about. So go have a look and see what a great offer these guys are offering you. Um, moving on to how to actually export to Foundry. It is really, really, really easy. It is so easy, I had to put three reallys in there. Um, over to File, click Export. This is where you get your list of options. So we've got Foundry, Fantasy Grounds, Roll20, Universal VTT, and just the image. We are staying with Foundry. Next one, Perspective. What do you want it to be? Do you want it to be 3D or top down? I want it to be top down going into Foundry. That works best with the way I work with my players. Lighting. This one takes a bit more understanding. So render light and image. You can see now, you can see on the picture where all the lighting effects are and they will be rendered. So you will have pools of light appearing on your map. But it will also export the light instances to Foundry so that you can control the lights for the use of Fog of War and Token Vision. Render only the lights in the image means you've got the pictures of the lights, you've got the effect on the graphic, but it doesn't export controllable light sources to Foundry. Last and the one. I'm likely to use is only export lights to the VTT. That means if you turn them off in the VTT, you don't get the pool of light appearing around it because it's not on your actual image. Now, currently, the shadows from the environmental light are fixed. You can't get rid of them. Um, I have made a comment on this in the Discord and hopefully at some point you'll be able to either turn off the shadows or when you go to only export lights the shadows will disappear because it behaves as though there's no roof in this dungeon. Last but by no means least on this section high quality or very high quality. What quality do you want the map to export at for what you're using it for? Grid, on or off. I prefer off when I'm exporting to a VTT, but would be very useful if you were exporting the map for printing or just because you wanted the image itself. And HD walls, not the world's greatest effect if you're on a top down map. It would have far more play on the detail in the walls if you're on a perspective based map. So we've got all of our options set the way we want them. Export. 
I want to export it to my desktop. So save. And that's done. Continue. We can now close um, Dungeon Alchemist should we choose, but I'm going to leave it open and move straight to Foundry. So we've gone through the opening of Foundry. I'm assuming you know the fundamentals of using Foundry. Um, this is about Dungeon Alchemist, this isn't about Foundry itself. So once you've opened your world, created your world, whatever you've done, come over on the top to the scenes directory and click on create scene. What name you put in here is irrelevant. It will pick up the name of your original map. So I'm just going to put test to start off with. And we now have map test. Close that because I don't really care about it right now. Right click on test, import data. Choose file. Remember to do that bit, I forget regularly. Um, click import and then find nothing happens. Desktop is where I stored it. And select dungeon.json, which is the format that it will output it. And the dungeon.dam is a Dungeon Alchemist map, and that's specifically for Dungeon Alchemist. So it's the JSON file that you need to select and open and select import. This is a very small file, so it did that very quickly. The bigger the file, the longer that import will actually take. We zoom out. You can see the door icon. We have a door here. We have doors and all the cells we created. And we have lights with pools of light around the outside. If I go into light, I'm going to modify that just to make it a bit more visible. For you to see what I'm doing with it. I can make it appear or disappear. If I'd selected the option to show the lights on the actual map, there would still be, even when I made it dark, the rendered image of the pool of light round there. So I just prefer to be able to go directly to that. The colour's not correct, but I'm not worrying about that. That's not, this isn't a final map that I'm creating. Walls. So you can see we have doors. We have see through walls around the cells. We have see through windows. And we have normal walls elsewhere. I'm now Doors are functional as you'd expect. There aren't currently secret doors that you can put in in Dungeon Alchemist. So if you wanted secret doors, you'd have to say, right, well, I've got a secret door that's going to be over here. I'm going to come in and modify that wall to put in a secret door. Um, but if you want it to look like a wall, so that's not unexpected within the Dungeon Alchemist options. Most map creators struggle to put in secret doors. Um, but there you are. It's in, it's imported, and it's immediately ready to use with your players. So you can create a map. Your players go somewhere unexpected, and you know your map can be created in seconds, well, minutes. And there you go. You can put them straight into the unexpected location that they suddenly decided to go. Um, nothing else gives the level of speed and ease that you can create things at the moment that Dungeon Alchemist does. Yeah, it's going to be the market leader. It has to be. Um, I use Dungeon Draft. Dungeon Draft is amazing, but you have to put in every single item. Um, you can map out like floor areas, but you don't have just that ability to say, there's a room populate it and then I'm just going to tweak what you populated it with and as I've said before as the AI improves then Dungeon Alchemist is going to come completely into its own. 
So great work to the guys. Keep it up. I will come back with more of these as more functionality comes in. I'm not going to chase through each time they add a bit of content. Um, but there will be you know, just videos on going through, longer videos going through the entire process rather than trying to give you just little snippets of how to. So I hope you enjoyed the content and hopefully I'll see you again. I have my own dedicated Discord server. The link to that is both in the bottom of the video and there'll be a link in the description below. And I have a Facebook group to go with it. Again, similar links placed there. Um, come along, chat, let me know. I'd love to talk to you. I don't just do things like Dungeon Alchemist. There's lots on there on painting. There's bits on 3D printing and modeling. Um, and yeah, all of it's going to expand. So let me know what you want to see. Let me know what interests you. And we can move the entire channel forward. So see you next time.